Okay folks, these are all molds that I used in order to make Spitfire models here. That's my nice plane. And I spent about like one uh, about one and a half year to make all these molds. They are made of fiberglass and epoxy resin and I use silicone also for the inserts here. Uh, for this uh, body and for wings partially use silicone so in order to make wings two halves and the wheels also here the wheels compartment here so I use a silicone so in order to do that and all these uh, molds are two halves two half molds and and after one and a half year I just made a couple pieces now here and uh, I use a fiberglass and epoxy resin so the wings and uh, the body and the tail rather everything made of fiberglass and epoxy resin everything I use just a little bit balsa and plywood uh, structurally to support uh, servos for example uh, other than that, everything made of fiberglass. And it looks amazing. I'm actually planning to use a, a carbon fiber, but it's kind of expensive. And so far, I'm gonna try to use this material uh, to see how it's gonna I'm gonna fly. And after that, maybe I make carbon fly, uh, carbon fiber sample, so made of carbon fiber and epoxy resin. So it's going to be more stronger, uh, lighter, uh, but it's more expensive, so I don't know yet, but let's see. Anyway, so this is one and a half year of my time that I use uh, to make this stuff to so this Spitfire 47 inches windspan and a .35 engine, OS, .35 AX engine. Yeah, this uh, was like first sample that I uh, made and it's actually 200-300 grams heavier than this one. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make it as light as possible and the next sample that I'm going to make, number four, is going to be uh, of course lighter and all the samples that I'm going to make is going to be lighter and lighter because there are so many areas that I can improve. Uh, the weight um, so let's see so I'm gonna find out this with time because uh, it's hard to uh, to do it at once I mean, need more time more samples in order to find out how to do that because I I find out so many difficulties you know and uh, different kind of technologies that I use also to do all parts or the old three trucks actually I made myself so I mean especially the compartment for the retrax I made myself and I uh, changed the actual actual Spitfire design because Spitfire has chassis like this and I just changed that because it was not so stable when you land it can flip kind of forward and it's not so safe that's why I just changed the design and make this like a Mustang kind of style it's more stable and pushed forward slightly so much better than actual Spitfire retracts so and more cool I think look nicer and actually this is more stable so okie dokie let's see how it's gonna fly and all these molds here uh, Actually, they they uh, used with the insert. So without insert, I cannot do this. I use the insert in order to uh, sandwich the actual fiberglass and epoxy resin, so between two parts, like a female and male mold. And after that, I use a, a vacuum bagging technology so in order to make the parts. Yeah, this is 
Mexico. So this is rudder, tail wing. So this is insert for this for the body made of silicon, silicon resin. So this is actually pilot compartment made of silicon. And yeah, that's the wings. So this is elevator and this is aileron mode. Okay. That's all.